The restorations of the Satyajit Ray films are absolutely extraordinary and so welcome because we went through a desperate uh, few decades, in fact, of sometimes uh, the negatives were missing, sometimes they were brought back in and then literally polished, you know, frame by frame. It, they've gone through hell and back, you know, and it is extraordinary, the Janus and Criterion um, restorations of the Shatajit Ray's films. Uh, they bring back a luminosity um, in addition to the extraordinary geometry and just the, f the, just the cinematography of his films. Uh, Ray worked with the somebody I knew very well, Shubhrata Mitra, the great cinematographer of Apu Trilogy and several of his masterpieces. And these were just incredibly refined eyes and hands uh, with very little equipment, with very little, very few of the toys that we now know in cinema, you know, but just this extraordinary sense of light and painterly kind of framing as well as knowing the landscape that they were looking at, you know, so that it was shot often in a very particular light, natural light, in seasonal times, you know, the Palash flowers of, of uh, Apu Trilogy were filmed only in that same three weeks in which the Palash flowers bloomed. So it was a remarkable portrait of the landscape. I remember uh, Satyajit Rai talking to me about the influence of uh, Cartier Bresson that he had, the great photographer Henri Cartier Bresson on his photographs the, the geometry, the decisive moment, and almost in the sense that uh, Cartier Bresson was famous for, as well as the influence initially of Jean Renoir. You know that Ray apprenticed himself to Renoir uh, when he was shooting The River in Calcutta. Um, but I think just Ray himself uh, is such a poet of many levels, an artist of several levels. Mostly, I think it's the incredible poetic integrity of how he frames everything, you know, nothing is extra, you know, everything informs the emotion of the story at hand, and not just the emotion, but the humanity of the character. Uh, but he does it immensely photographically. Uh, and ha having known his greatest cinematographer, uh, Shubhrata Mitra, as closely as I did, I know the extents that they went to, and also how much Ray had these extraordinary artists with him who took him further you know uh, it was not just him alone always although he really commandeered the entire encompassing vision of it both from music to framing to casting to writing um, but his work is uh, inimitable to himself and and uh, therefore I think constantly shows us the, the way and it will never be old-fashioned it'll never be that it, there, there is a great sense of uh, the eternal, you know, in his filmmaking.